Hey guys, this is my crazy game addiction, and today we are back with more Dishonored, and this is part three, and now we're going to be talking to the loyalists once again. Daughter of an empress is tougher than you think. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably, and with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal lets not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Okay. some new things. Oh, and some new things have been happening to me lately. Um, and I have good reasons why I've been uploading. Um, things have been happening at my house that I just have been not able to upload. We had our backyard fixed by these guys and that took two days and they were really loud until like six o'clock and I didn't really feel like recording video after that because yeah and then on, on Monday I had a babysit which was really unexpected and um, yeah and I, I today I got actually my DX racer in from um, well, the UP UPS dropped it off at my house um, this morning, and I'm pretty happy because now I have that, and I'm sitting in it right now, and I'm sitting in a $300 chair, and I'm super happy about that because I've been wanting this for a long time, and I saved up all my money, and like used most of my money just for this chair, but my mom helped a bit too. Which was, um, which I'm really thankful for. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. I hate There's weepers. no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. No good. I'll just go right now. But this part's not bad. I mean, I've done this part so much times that it's not that scary. Also, on Monday I got, um... I got a few things. Well, that was... That was scary. Um, a few things in, um, from UPS again, um, I got a cord, which was nice for recording, the, I talked about it earlier, the HDMI thing, the, because the, the Apple computer doesn't have an HDMI port, on the back, um, I had to get this, 
it's like a USB slash like USB male and then like um, HDMI female cord. It cost fifty dollars and that was the cheapest one I found. Yeah. Um, so now I can record games on my Mac, I'm pretty sure. But which way am I supposed to go? <laughs> I've done this so much times that I don't even know. Still don't even know how to get out of here. Oh, so I finally found the way. <laughs> After like eight times the playing that part. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. Probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Okay. Corvo. <laughs> Just I trust you remember me over Martin, here. an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. This is Pendleton's probably one of the, one of the longest die. missions. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond word. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Yeah, this is probably one of the longest missions I've in the whole game, I'm pretty sure. I'll well, take at least for me. Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. So that is, that means a lot more editing. <laughs> I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you're bringing back. Good luck to you. I know Emma. Chaos. <clears throat> Your actions affect the city. A high number of deaths result in more rats and weepers, different reactions from your allies, and darker final outcome. Yep. This is why I like the game, and every, like one little thing affects the whole story. Huh? Oh, that was close. I 
could have just went around him, but eh. I want to take some loot. And I'm going to th this side because I've tried killing the penitents by myself before and I didn't end up getting high chaos. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to I mean, me. I ended up getting high chaos. That him? Yeah. So, all I have to do for this guy is just a few things, and he'll take care of the penalties for me, which is nice because I don't really like to take to kill him myself. Slack job, you wait. Yeah, I know. They don't have to remind me like eight times. Slack job, slack job is waiting for you. I know. <laughs> My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your no. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. Okay. So yeah, he just takes care of him for me if I do this. I got stuck on the barrel. <laughs> Oh, I hate these people. Get out, get out. Oh my gosh, how did I do it? <laughs> oh my god, that was super close. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to get the codes. Super stealthy. No, no, stupid cut. <laughs> Wish you could recollect them. That would be so much better.
You know, give me one sec. Okay, so I thought, I think I found the code. It's 257. Oh, this is hard. Two, five, seven. Nope. Oh, it's, it's 287. Excuse me. There we go. <laughs> I just misread it. And I had 500 coins. That was worth it. I think the five minutes I left you out there. No, <laughs> didn't take me that long to look it up. But it looked to take me long to find it. And find what this was called. I forgot. Dr. Gallup something. What do you think? It's office. Right? I know that. Where is this ruin? Where's a rat? Uh, I don't have... Let's see. Not that. Um, powers... Possession. Let's get Ben as well. It's really hard to control the rat, I feel like. Okay, so through here. And look how easy that was. anything so that's why I'm like looking everywhere and going from the top way because it's easier and better deal with those guys <laughs> even if they murdered the people that were guarding this area hey 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 wait what just occurred How come it's always me? um I don't have any more of those potions darn but I think that's all you have to get for him yeah and he'll take care of the But I think you can do another mission for him. What's this? 
Information for my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Slackjaw. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. He was right. There is someone once you dead. Wants to take over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang. And he'll never believe who it is, neither. At first, I did. That's why it's taken me so long. I wanted to be sure, and... What's that? Hard! No! No! Ah! So Crowley's dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the Golden Cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The Cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my masked friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them and no one will ever see them again. Now, if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Okay. It's a better way, I'm just saying. And that beep that you heard um, in the middle of what he was when he was talking, um, that was a Steam notification, so... Sorry about that. <laughs> Killed everyone outside, so <sighs> poor guys. Oh, Weeper. This district is now under a mandatory way of oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced. I didn't even know you could go this way. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Um, I have to go this way. I think that was the way you're supposed to go. Because there's two, and I think that's the way the art dealer is. Possibly. Probably the better way. Yeah. 
It's a safer route. on the first floor. I need to get the men in position. The ivory room. All I can do. And I'm pretty, yeah, Emily's up here. special people and I'll show you and if anyone tries to stop us you can fight them it's this way a really big a bit of a lag right there <laughs> I know I have to still take care of the art dealer I'm just gonna have her come down here first Get away. Now she keeps the key with her. You've got to find the key so we can leave. Oh, I now have a lot of things to do. I'll first get the key. carry more. <laughs> How funny is that? I really would love to have- yeah, <gasps> thank you, thank you. I was about to say I want one of these blue elixirs or whatever. And look, it gave me that. Um, let me take care of the art dealer now. Oh my gosh, that was close. I told her to Dunstan, the Pendletons are here. I told you're supposed to be on duty. Come on, you're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Wake up. Okay, I can do this. Oh, oh, oh that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? Start with them. I cheated them. Robbed them of thousands. Oh, Come on. Ruthless. Don't okay, hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendletons' inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Oh. Ah, 
Retribution! Retribution! Oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah, we're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! We're not done. What the? Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 879. Take okay. anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. And now I'm getting out of here. I hear you what now. I'm getting out of here. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Yes, please. Yes. Thank God. Let's leave. Please don't get high chaos. Please. I could have done that way more stealthy. But I already got, I didn't mean to get caught the first time and then the second time I, I they saw me and I didn't know I was gonna get seen, but I did. This creepy lady is. Oh. Come to dinner now, that's right, my sweet little birds. This Come to creepy dinner. lady. She's really crazy, too. And then there's weepers over here. Get out, get out, get out. I don't want a part of this. The city watch for immediate questioning. In this time of spiritual crisis. Oh my god. I hate weepers. I just hate them. They're too scary for me. Alright, now I just gotta deliver this and he'll take care of the Pendletons. You brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna oh, see disgusting. life from a different angle. But they deserve it. So he's just gonna torture them, I guess. Possibly kill them at the end. Yay, this mission is almost done. This is probably, yeah, this is the longest mission. so long if I took care of the Pendletons, but I like to do this. I prefer it better. Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. Yes, I'm, I'm ready. Low chaos, yay. Only four kills. That's pretty good. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? 
Oh, I, uh, grown up <laughs> business girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown up business at the Golden Cat. Oh, I should concentrate on piloting this boat. <laughs> yeah, sure, Samuel. You do that. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. Bye. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Okay, we'll go talk to Lord Pendleton when we get back in the next video. But I always leave off right here for some reason. I don't know, this is my like favorite spot. So that's me in the video. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.